Good morning, Patriots. Welcome to RPTV. I'm Miguel Fernandez. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations, passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today is Friday, October 25th, 2019. Now, let's go to Katie to see what happened today in history. Thank you, Miguel. Today in history, on October 25th, 1881, Pablo Picasso was born in Malaga, Spain. He was one of the greatest and most influential artists of the 20th century. Now, let's go to the Andres to see what's for lunch. Thank you, Katie. Today for lunch, we have barbecue chicken, cheeseburger, french fries, diced peaches, and your choice of milk. Bon appetit. Now, back to Miguel. Thank you, DeAndre. That sounds delicious. In school news, the Fall Festival or Trunk or Treat will be tomorrow, October 26th, and there are no more pre-sale tickets. There will be a dunk tank. Mr. Bardoni, Mr. Polly, and Mr. Verdier will get wet. Yeah! Next week is in Red Ribbon Week, so do your best to participate. We are also having an October Scary Writing Contest. Everyone is welcome to participate for grades 6 to 8. The scary stories are due October 31st with their ELA teachers. We look forward to seeing everyone come out with these great events and reading all those spooktacular stories. Now, let's go to Let's Talk with Jariah. Thank you, Miguel. Welcome to Let's Talk. My name is Jariah Cortez, and today we have with us Courtney Williams from Mrs. Santi Stevan's fifth grade math class to share with us an activity that they did in their classroom. So, um, Courtney, tell us about the escape room activity. The escape room activity, it actually helped some students because she was actually preparing us for a test and we were, we were actually practicing on it so it helped us learn um, how to multiply a decimal and how to move the decimal to the right or left when you're multiplying and dividing a decimal. Um, did you feel that this activity helped you learn better? It actually did. You know, I actually got a good grade on my test and I was so happy because it helped me learn when you're multiplying a decimal, you you're, you need to know the multi um, the power of 10 and you actually have to count the numbers behind the decimal to know where to put the decimal point. What was the best part of the escape room? The best part of the escape room was um, working together with my team and helping me which that actually made me pass my test. Uh, would you recommend that other teachers in your grade and throughout the school do the same with their students? Yes, so it can allow students to learn and have fun doing that type of activity. <laughs> um, so if you could have one superpower, what would it be? To be invisible. Oh, that's, that's a good one. Uh, okay, so this is our lightning round. Um, what is your favorite show? My favorite show is Rick and Tom. Toy Story or Aladdin? Toy Story. Favorite subject? My favorite subject is math. Pizza or pasta? Pizza. Coke or Pepsi? Coke. Winter or summer? Winter. Okay. Thank you, Courtney, um, for taking the time to sit down with us. We truly appreciate <laughs> that you're here with us. And now back to Miguel. Thank you, Jariah. Now, let's go to weather with Ernst. Thank you, Miguel. Today's weather in Pembroke Pines, Florida is forecasted to be 87 degrees Fahrenheit and scattered thunderstorm. Now, let's go back to Miguel. Thank you, Ernst. Now, for today's trivia. How many cups are in a gallon? Teachers, send your answers to pines.renaissance at gmail.com. Patriots, don't forget your pants expectations. It represents, present yourself positively, act kindly toward others, treat the school's environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Everyone at RPT would like to wish you all a fantastic Friday. And remember, reset your mindset. Have a great day.